In this video, I'm going to be making a scratch game as a noob versus pro versus hacker. So let's go. Let's delete Scratchy and paint our not so good sprite. Let's name him the player and costume player. Let's zoom in, give him an outline of five, and we'll make this guy, make him a bit green. Now, what I usually do is I round off the corners, but I'm not going to do that because this is bad. It's the entire point of this. So I'm going to name him noob for the game. And I'm going to do one if I clicked forever. If he W, I'm coding this as if I'm a noob. So S, negative five. That's why I'm not going to use variables for the movement right now. I click two duplicate all that replace this with an x d a five get a five and i think it should all be good so if we go here we can see that we can move around and yes it looks really choppy but that's what you get for when you're a noob let me add the invisible box around him i know this is not noob like but at the same time you know it just looks too ugly to look at so yeah this is just gonna do for now and i may as well do what they all do just because i'm nice i'll give him a shadow so now our boy is looking a lot more 3d I'm gonna make him go to zero zero at the start and i'm gonna paint gun by zooming here for the gun i'm gonna give him an outline of 10 i'm gonna make it go up like this maybe it shouldn't be 10 Maybe it should be five. I'm gonna go up like that, around like that, right here, and right here. I'm gonna smooth out that corner. Aim him to gun. I'm gonna center him. And I think I have to make him a bit smaller. He's a way too big. An outline of seven looks like it could do. So let's add the invisible box, like that. Now I can code the gun script. One we'll go for a click, rubber, go to player, point in direction, player, direction. So it's pretty easy. You know, he's gonna go there. And oh, yeah, I'm actually stupid. What am I doing? Point in direction, bruh. Point towards mouse pointer. There we go. And so now we can see that this guy has a gun on him at all times. And and yeah, not a lot about it. So now let's just make a really, a very, very simple backdrop. And we're using a backdrop because only noobs do that, obviously. Make it a little bit of a bright yellow. Maybe I'll make it darker. And I'm going to add some bushes just like this. And we can copy and paste them around the place. Maybe we make one wider, one lower, one bigger, one bigger, and a wide. And then we can make a little bit of white, or not white, green around the edges. Maybe for like a little stone pad. Name it BG for background. Make a sprite bullet. And in the gun, when Griff looked forever, if face, then create clone a bullet and if i go into the bullet costume make the bullet like this name a bullet and now i'm gonna do like wait 0 0.1 seconds so we have a bit of delay and in the bullet when i start as a clone well actually before that one graph like click hide and when i start as a clone go to gun point in direction gun direction and repeat this until touching edge move five steps and then lead itself so go in here we click start nothing's working because i didn't make it show there we go and now when i click the green flag we can see that we're shooting but as you can see we're not shooting in the proper spot and since i'm a noob I don't know how to fix that. So it is what it is. Now we need to make the one last thing, the enemy. Okay, in here, enemy. And the enemy can be this guy. Put red, name him enemy. Go in here, and wing green, wing green, wing green, fly clicked, hide, and then forever, wait a second, and then I'm gonna create a clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, go to random position, and then set Y to just 400, so it's way up the top of the screen. And then repeat until touching bullet, point towards player, move five steps, and I may as well make this guy shoot 10 steps. And then we can delete this clone. So now this is the entire noob game, wait. No, it's not. Make him show. So now this is the entire new game. Oh my god. I need to. Okay. Let me uh, let me let me just set the rotation style to don't rotate. And go. So now as we can see, they're just coming towards me. And I can just shoot them. Very, very simple mechanic in game. Wow, this is this is so bad. <laughs> and so the pro, let's go. Leap paint player in three, two, one. Bam! Now, you see, I didn't add the most detail because he's a pro. He's not a hacker. But it still looks pretty cool. Go in the code. So let's do one grief I clicked. Make a variable x speed, y speed. Set them both to zero. And then forever, if e w, gonna change y speed by five. Right click, duplicate, s, negative five. And I'll just do it all again, except for the x speed. So there we go. And now we need to one grief collect, one grief I click, forever. Change x and change y by x speed and y speed. And then forever, just set x speed to times 0.9 x speed and same with the y speed so now i think it should all work so if i set myself to zero zero let's go check it out there we go now he's pretty smooth but he's extremely fast so i probably need to turn him down go like two two negative two negative two and he's extremely slippery so if i just change this one to like 0 0.8 0 0.8 it should become a lot harder there we go now it's pretty smooth now that's movement done now we can do paint gun and i'm gonna try to make a more detailed gun and i'll be back when i finish and so this is what it's looking like move him in the middle make the box gun and one if I clicked forever, go to player, point towards mouse pointer. It's pretty simple. So now we have an actual decent looking gun, except he's kind of blocking his face as we can see. So I'm going to make him change X by 30 or something. So now as you can see, he's on his right. But if I go over here, it looks really wonky. So I'm going to make it so he switches over here once my mouse cursor is on the left of him. I'll show you what I mean by that. If I just write some code, boom. With this code here, we can see that, you know, it's like really, really cool, smooth. Uh, it works very, very well. And overall, it just looks insane cool to be honest like it's super smooth everything works perfectly fine and dude i don't even oh my god it's so nice to look at it's crazy but now we gotta work on the gun 
or no, the bullet. Bullet. Zoom all the way in here. And instead of this one being a giant line, I'm going to make it a bit of a circle. Now I'm going to make a outline just so it doesn't look really weird. And there we go. Name a bullet. Go in here. And in the gun, when I start forever, if key space or mouse down, then read a clone of bullet and wait 0.1 seconds. We're going to go into the bullet. When Griff, I clicked, hide. And it's basically the same code that we used before. So when I start as a clone, go to gun, point in direction, gun direction, and just repeat until touching edge. It's going to move 10 steps and then delete it. So what we have to show. So let's just see what this looks like real quick. If I shoot, okay, that's not bad. It just has to be positioned better. So if I move this one, it has to be up a little bit. That's like basically perfect. Yeah, see, look at that. I move it more to the right. There we go. Now it actually looks like it's coming out of the gun. Look at that. That's actually like quite cool. I'm going to move it 15. I'll see if that looks any cooler. Yeah, it looks good. All right. And I think it'd be cool that every time it's key space, it would move negative 10 steps up backwards. And I, I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but like, oh, it does work. That's, oh my God, that's so cool. Dude, look at that. It's crazy. Oh no. Yeah. What's the problem with this one? Hold on a minute. Why is it looking weird from this side? That's just very funky. Let me bug fix this real quick. All right. I think it should be fixed now. Yep. There we go. Dude, that actually looks so sick. I can't get over that. Oh my God. I've never like actually put this much effort into trying to make a gun. Maybe it's a bit too much recoil. So I'll do negative five. There we go. That's more realistic. That's actually crazy, man. So now let's do paint enemy. And like last time, we're just going to copy and paste this guy into here, but we're going to make him red, red, and we're going to make him look sad. But more realistically, he would be angry. So there we go. And something like this looks decent enough. So when graph, when green, when green, when, when green fly clicked, hide and forever wait a second and create a clone of yourself and instead of wait a second we'll do one two zero point five two two seconds just a little bit more random and you've already seen this code before so boom boom bam and there we go all the code so if we go back into here what is bro doing hold on okay uh, this is not all the code apparently point towards player that's more like it. Let's go. And as you can see, we have... Wait, my bullets don't destroy them. Now we need to make them to die by our gun, because right now they're just gonna infinitely come out and try and kill us. So, even until touching bullet, I had the wrong thing there. In the player, when Griff, I clicked forever, if touching enemy, then we're gonna do the basic thing of stopping all to show that you died. And while we're at it, we may as well make a score. And when I start, I'm gonna set score to zero. And then when touching the bullet, I'm gonna set score... It's gonna change score by one. So let's see how this looks. Okay, we have these guys. Wait, why is the score going up? Oh, I'm actually dumb. I should be below there. So here we go one two. Oh, i can just kill them behind there can i you know it's looking pretty good so far this is only what a pro would do and believe me you will not believe what a hacker is like and just to finish it off a little bit more we can make a background boom 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 maybe move the score down here and now we have an entire pro like game if you made it this far you may as well like and subscribe i may as well be doing something right so let's move on to the hacker one eternity later upgrade the guns very slightly get its color make it lighter just the five or something go like that do the exact same thing this way and i'm gonna make him rounder at the bottom just like so so now he's all round and i'm gonna steal this color right here and add a little bit of a box down here or a little bit of a whatever that is i don't even know a streak now the man's looking a lot fresher and the bullet it can basically just stay the same it's not even that much of a difference the enemies these guys look like garbage so i'm gonna change them to just these guys but i'm gonna make them have a bit of a animation i'm gonna make him squeeze down very slightly i'm gonna make him squeeze down half one of these blocks i'm gonna do it again so that's gonna be an entire full block and i'll maybe just do one more half block so now it's gonna look like boom 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 then we'll do five which is gonna be very much outstretched so i'm gonna copy and paste this one here i'm gonna make him go up one so boom and i feel like this movement's gonna be a lot different i'll show you what i mean when we start i'm just gonna make him do a second so it's completely even i'm gonna repeat this until that i'm gonna repeat well hold on i'll just do it when i'm finished i don't even know what i'm doing okay so with this jumble mess of code i'll tell you what i did so i basically this is his entire like animation I gave it its animation and then it's gonna move. It's pretty simple. This one, if it's touching the bullet, that's gonna do a little bit of a death animation. Change the score by one, delete itself. And then I also added layering. So if I take off the layering, I'll show you what this looks like. You can see that they kind of like overlap really weirdly. That like one, like for example, this guy should be behind him, but he's not because there's any layering. And so if I shoot them, you know, a little death animation. But then if I put this layering on, you could see that I just gotta wait. You can see the guy at the back that they're all like behind each other. But so basically, if their Y position is less than the other person's Y position, then it's gonna go to the back pretty simple but it really drastically improves the game so i can just get rid of all these guys it's really satisfying i'll let you know that and so this video is going on for long enough and so i'm going to finish the entire game i'll see you when i'm finished and so here's the finished game as you can see everything's basically the same except i got a score round start screen and three new enemies well three in total i did add sound effects but you probably won't hear anything right now i click start everything fades off and we can see these guys they have animations and they look really cool if i hit them one time i only do 50 damage i hit him again he dies so i hit him twice it's pretty simple 
then we go back to the slimier start screen and it is quite fun to play with i can just shoot enemies for as long as time goes on plus this game is infinite so it's going to infinitely get harder and more complicated with enemies at least and so now what you've been waiting for the entire hacker game now